So guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, day two, Mull, and uh, I'm on the hunt for some otters. And I've just come down to a well-known spot here on Mull, and um, so far this morning I've seen three white-tailed eagles. I've now got two golden eagles just over the way there, um, soaring quite high above their nest. Um, magical location absolutely lovely and not really many people about which is good um so i've currently got an otter at the minute now i saw it on the beach further up and i've come ahead it seems to be making its way back here i just parked myself up behind a nice big rock here and there's a nice clump of seaweed in front and i'm hoping as it maybe transits through it might hug the shoreline a little bit and have a little rest on this weed patch um bit of a gamble but got to be done um yeah, man, nice. It's not raining, thank God. Um, until later anyway, until about five o'clock tonight. So just gotta get in there and give it give it some uh give it some effort really for five or six hours hopefully and then we'll get rewarded with some shots. The light's obviously pretty harsh now, but still gotta go with what we've got. So guys I moved um to the otters and otters was my focus whilst I was here on Mull really. But yesterday was so bad on Loch Nakeel and the weather, I decided to go and check on the harriers and owls. Now, the harriers, where they were last year, there was two pairs. And um, there was also two pairs of um, owls as well, shorties. And, um, but this year there's only one set of harriers there. Um, I spent a bit of time with them yesterday, really, really enjoyed it. Unfortunately though, um, got up this morning as I parked well away, because yesterday I positioned myself far enough away as not to disturb the harriers, worked out where the nest was, gauged the distance and then plonked myself down. It was a little wet so I put a hide up and I, I sort of parked up nearby. Um, and this morning got up first thing and there was a guy, a photographer, in a camper, well, a mobile home thing. And, uh, excuse me, always to catch up. Is it still always to catch up? And unfortunately he's gone and plonked himself right in the breeding area, really close to the nest. Unbelievable. The hen harry is going overhead, alarm calling. Guy's got no idea. Absolutely horrendous. It's a problem here on Mull now. It's getting so popular with people and uh, fortunately the wildlife then gets affected and um, those harriers, so I just got up and left. Always to catch you rather close. <laughs> right behind me now. Um, yeah, so anyway, enough dripping. Such a shame. What an absolute pain, people can't respect them at distance. Um, still, that's someone that's just after a picture and doesn't give a damn about the bird. But hey, grumble over. So guys, I've uh, had a morning here at a well-known otter hotspot and uh, seen loads of eagles today, which is brilliant. There's a, as I said before, there's an irie up just in front of me and I saw the white tails to the left. So fantastic just to see those. No pictures, no need, They're so far away and it was just good to see them with my own eyes and with the bins. But uh, I'm going to have a bit of a trek now to find a little cove where the Hopefully there'll be some otters chilling out around there, all being well. But uh, yeah, the weather's not particularly great. It's pretty much thick cloud and rain for uh, most of uh, this afternoon and the evening. So a uh, bit of a shame really. But still, we'll uh, go give it a go. 
and uh, see what results we get. But I'm just happy to be here, really, and give it a go. So, guys, I just went and checked out that place that I've been told is a good tip. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but uh, there's a major wind coming in across the sea. It was raining, choppy as you like. I wouldn't be able to see much in the way of otters. And uh, it was quite, it was quite a trek, it was about 40 minutes. So 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back. Aaron, you know, 20 minutes. But still, I'm sure it, on a nice day, it's pretty nice. There's plenty of otters there, but I'm gonna head back now, close to where I parked up, find a little sheltered area, lay up, and I hope I get lucky and see a nice otter lying in the kelpie seaweed, having a nibble, and get some fantastic shots. So we've got a golden eagle nest, or eyrie, eerie, whichever one you want to call it, right over there, and it probably just looks like a big dark splodge on the GoPro. It's a dead tree and it's up there to the left. Pretty awesome. Saw three golden eagles this morning. Now I haven't really said where I am for location's sake, but it wouldn't take a genius to work it out. And in fact, spring watch are due to be, apparently to be ringing the, the young at some point um, in the next week or so, I suppose. So I'm sure you'll get to see it, but uh, yeah, it's in quite the inaccessible spot, which is good to see. And you can't even get over to that part so they're safe, which is good. Apparently it used to be a, a sea eagle nest up there, but the goldies got it this year. Nice to see though, three golden eagles today, three sea eagles. Man, it's not bad. Not bad, just out, you know. No pictures, but uh, I'm not fussed. Just to see them with my own eyes is pretty damn good. Now, time to find some otters, I think. So what I'm doing now is just literally scanning along the shoreline. Good just to check the kelpie bit here. They like to sort of nestle up in there and have a little snooze and digest their food. Sun themselves if it was sunny and just chill and relax, really. Also, keep an eye out in the water as well. Seals usually bobbing up and down, looking like a point in the sky. And then the uh, otters lie on their back and do bits and bobs and feed and just generally swimming about but um, sometimes you hear a tail splash go down but just keep scanning really just having a look and just go quietly what you don't want to do is go in and then disturb them um, so that's what I'm trying to do at the moment just have a, a little look to see it's gone real quiet there's a couple just gone to my left there that have been watching the goldies and hopefully it'll go quiet and I'll get a lovely session with the otters. All been well. Oh, it's lovely and quiet here now. Jeez, it's absolutely wild around the corner there. I might just sit here for a bit and just take it in and see what happens. So I've just set up down there and then the rain's come in. So um, this is the not so glamorous side of wildlife photography. Um, conditions like this, but I'm just settling in these old ruins here just out of the weather, coming right this way quite a heavy drizzle so uh, I just positioned myself on the corner where I saw a, an otter earlier it's on a load, little point with a load of kelp inside hoping that maybe as it works its way around the coast it might come in along there but <sighs> who knows who knows <laughs> openly admit that I'm not that au fait with otters um, having never really spent an awful lot of time with them so a new species for me um, but love a challenge, I've done a bit of research, asked a bit of advice, so there's not much more to it, it's all pretty basic, all pretty much the same in any wildlife photography situation with any mammal species. Stealth, don't get too close, stay low, read the signs, do your recce work, usual thing, don't make too much noise, etc, etc, don't push your luck, you know, just sit, watch, wait it for a relax and then in you go. Um, that's pretty much it, but 
they did say the weather was going to come in this afternoon, but I've got to go with it. It's pretty honking though. Never mind. Magical. I was shaking, shaking like mad. Honestly, just with adrenaline, excitement, 